Now some new information for you and new video as well of a tour bus crash in Southern California. The bus rolled on a mountain road after rear-ending a sedan and crashing into a pickup truck. You can see investigators at work this morning. This is near San Bernardino National Forest. At least eight people are dead. 38 people are injured. The bus driver survived and has told investigators that the brakes actually failed. Now to a developing investigation that we're following. A former Navy SEAL and his neighbor killed by a man they were trying to mentor. ABC's Karen Travers says officials are still trying to piece together what led to the shootings. 25-year-old former Marine Eddie Ray Roth was charged with two counts of murder in the Saturday shooting deaths of legendary military sniper Chris Kyle and his friend Chad Littlefield. But police are still working to determine a motive. Kyle was one of the most skilled and deadly snipers in U.S. military history. He once shot a target more than a mile away. He was a highly decorated Navy SEAL, seven medals of bravery. Very humble, you know, to this to the time he got out, he, he didn't really want to publicize the number of, of kills. But Kyle also knew the difficulties service members faced when they came home. Now all of a sudden, you don't have an identity, you have to learn a whole new way to act. So he dedicated himself to helping returning vets who suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder. Chris had a difficult time transitioning from military life to civilian life himself, and I, I think that was a big reason why he cared so much about helping other veterans. Police believe Kyle was trying to help Roth this weekend at the gun range outside Dallas. We kind of have an idea that may, maybe that's why they were at the range for some type of therapy. That Over the last decade, some 70,000 service members have been diagnosed with PTSD. I was constantly feeling anxious. I was nervous all the time. Uh, I, I constantly felt like something bad was going to happen. It's still too soon to know if PTSD was a factor in these murders, but military officials say it's a problem they need to know more about. Karen Travers, ABC News, Washington. We have some disturbing new numbers out this morning. They show more American soldiers died of suicide than in combat last year. The Pentagon says there were 325 suicides among active duty and non-active Army personnel in 2012. That's an average of almost one death per day and a record high number.